G'day guys, uh, welcome back again. Solar panel cleaning with the Solartech C1000. Uh, we've taken a brief look uh, down below at our equipment setup. Now I just wanted to run you through, so I've only got 20 solar panels here today, just a five kilowatt system. So this Solartech 1000 is not even gonna warm up. So it, it's designed in, or for application in a commercial setting. So we're able to punch out 200 to 250 solar panels per hour. So this little 20 panel system is uh, is not even going to warm the system up. The, the brush filaments are probably a little bit coarser than a standard water fed pole. So the rotation of that brush at a very quick RPM and, and the brush rotation can be forward or reverse depending on whether you wanted to push or pull. Water is ingested into the brush and aids in a rinse. So there is an internal gearbox. On our previous videos, I would have talked about the importance of pure water. So pure water in window cleaning, as we all know, is for spot free. Um, in this application, we are. it is the same. So the system can be run from a DI resin bottle, depending on, or bottles, depending on where you are, and that will set the running cost. Or if you're punching out large quantities of panels, uh, to, to run from an RO system. The ingestion of pure water, as I said, spot free, but we're also pushing pure water into the gearbox. So that's going to limit uh, dirt ingress into that gearbox and, and keep that nice and clean. So in a perfect scenario, if you were using this in a residential aspect to be set up in the ultimate solar panel cleaning business or, or equipment layout you would have a water tank um, if you're punching out solar panel after solar panel you'd want to pull up at a property with your pre-filled purified water pull out a hose straight up to your solar tech brush now this solar tech brush is run by a pressure cleaning system so we're going to look for 1800 psi at the gearbox head and the little 2700 psi 11 litre a minute pressure cleaner below uh, we've adjusted that down to or we'll set that at a parameter to give us those specified range at about 1800 psi here at the head when we do turn off our water stop to stop the brush rotation water is going to go back into our storage tank so if we're punching out big quantities of panels you would want an adequate water supply of purified water and in a perfect scenario, an RO system will cut your running cost to absolute minimal. The C1000 can be broken down into sections, so it is a, a metre wide brush. We can take 10 centimetre increments off the brush to cut it down to 800, and then we can take further sections off to cut this particular brush down to 600. So very versatile if we're doing different applications or even using this particular brush for flat work or, or um, glass roofs or, or, or alike. So we're going to uh, give you a bit of an overview of, of this. We have a 12 metre carbon fibre pole. It's actually a, a gardener pole that uh, Solartech guys have, have set up to run integral a pressure cleaning hose. So there's different scenarios and, and different operators will offer, offer, will want to operate differently. See so the integral hose uh, we have an external water stop. We can put an adapter gooseneck in, in this position here and run an external hose and set up a tap above the brush. But it's going to come down to personal preference on how you want to run your Solitech system. If you already have a water fed pole, we can supply adapters to suit different water fed poles. And what you would do in those cases and scenarios is strip the first couple of sections out of your pole and the two key sizes for adaption of your water fed pole are 22 mil and 24 mil. So if you measure down into your body clamps, 22 or 24, uh, you'd be able to adapt one of the adapters to take this solar tech brush. And if you are running that adapter, you would run external pressure cleaning hose. It's just lightweight quarter pressure cleaning hose with a tap above the gooseneck adapter or a water said fed stop as we're going to run here today. So we're going to fire the system up and uh, give you guys a, a bit of an understanding of uh, just a quick residential solar panel cleaning task. So with our 45 metres of 
pressure hose. We're going to go along and we're going to clean the tops of the panels. We'll come back and do the guts. The, the brush head weighs just over five and a half kilo. So that downward pressure uh, is, is enough there to, you know, to give you that extra, extra bit of scrub when you are reaching out across a number of banks of solar panels. The metre brush is quite good because it, it'll stretch across, completely across that one solar panel. Hope this is uh, giving you a bit of an understanding of using this commercial application in a residential perspective um, with the SolarTech C1000. Check out all our other videos on our YouTube channel at bluetongueindustries.com.au and all this information plus everything else we sell can be seen on our website at bluetongueindustries.com.au. We'll catch you on the next video.